Hello, I'd like to talk about um, detainer picks now. Um, when you buy one of these, a cheap Chinese disc detainer pick, uh, you do tend to find that this is one that I've used. You tend to find that they are soldered on. And um, if you try to modify them too much, you find that the end normally comes off. So, unfortunately, what can happen is this. If I can get focus. Here's one that I modified and soldered. But under pressure, because you do exert quite a bit of pressure. And if you can see here, it split. There's a crack here and it came off. Now, various people on the internet I've seen have um, remedied this by using <clears throat> what we call ejector pins. So here's some that I ordered, you can get them different ones, but quite long ones. Um, I should have got the uh, micrometer to measure the thickness. I forgot the thicknesses. Um, so I bought a pack of these. I think it's about 15 for about five or six pounds. Um, and it's one solid, it's one solid piece, which means it's less, far less likely to break. So I thought I would go through the process. We're gonna take one out and we're gonna have a little go of using one of these Oops, using one of these to make one of these. Okay, so I'm gonna keep pausing the video through the process so it's not too long. So um, stay tuned and let's hope we get a, a good finish in the end. Okay, here you can see that we are, if we can get the focus, try again, you can see that we're almost there, I kept dipping it in water to keep it cool, um, see how much I've taken off there, so that's pretty much at the right thickness, I may just take a tiny bit more off, and then I'm going to start working on the sides, okay, so Next process, here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I've, I'm going to take, maybe take a bit more of this, this face here. But I've taken it down for the, the diameter this way. Um, you see there's a slight curve on the edges. So I'm going to just nick off a little bit of these corners on the grinder. And then I'm going to fine tune it with a bit of sandpaper. And then we'll, um, we'll cut it to length and we'll see what we end up with. Okay, so keep watching. Okay, so what I've done is I have I've taken off the corners. So now I'm just going to sand this to get a slightly better finish because it's all sharp and a little bit rough. Okay, so keep watching. Now there's different sizes and different styles of pick for different kinds of 
this detainer lock so um, it'd be good to make a varied range of this detainer pick tip picking tips so just to give you a rough idea I'll just fine tune it in it but so you can see we started out with something like get that to focus we started out with this now we are at this stage okay I'm just there we go I'm just gonna fine-tune it a little bit and take a, a little bit more off I don't want to watch me sanding all the time so I'm gonna pause the video and I'm going to just uh, fine-tune this we'll, we'll cut it down and we'll see what we end up with Okay, thank you. Keep watching. Okay, we are almost, almost there. So now I'm just going to maybe I measure this. I'm going to cut it down. Here's the broken one. And this one, the new one's just slightly thicker. I'm going to take this. I'm going to mark it, cut it here. And then we've got ourselves a, a nice picking tip. So keep watching and we'll just... Uh, Cut it down. Okay, let's uh, get our mark. So let's put them in the vise and cut him to size and see what we end up with, okay? As you can see, it's quite tough, which is good because that's how you want it. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take... Oh, it's hot. I'm just going to take this end. I'm just going to tidy that up and then we're good to go. So initially we started out with a disc detainer pick like this um, and we ended up with uh, a broken tip. So we decided we were going to make a new picking tip out of one of these ejector pins. Um, this is the finished product. I suppose I could work on it a little bit more. What I didn't mention was the fact that I usually like to file a slight tiny flat on either side. Um, and that is to uh, help the Allen key to grip. So here's a few other ones that I've made or in the process of making. If I can get them straight. There we go. All different thicknesses. All slightly different picking tips for different kinds of disc detainer locks. There's some flats that I need to work on a bit more. Um, so there you go. And we end up with something like this. Here's the one I did. One for wider this detainer core. You can also mod, do mods on this by, I'm sure there's people like Bosnian Bill and others that have shown you um, how to modify these by taking this edge down here a bit more, like this, putting a groove in it and that allows you to go a little bit, tiny bit deeper into the core to get the, to grip the ends of the um, discs. Uh, you can also uh, is a different disc detainer pick. This is for um, tension at the back of the back of the lock. And sometimes there's a bit of space at the back, and this allows you for this to go in and grip it. Um, but you may want this bit to be not quite as thick as that. Well, you can just take one of these, even one of these, and um, see if itself it's the right thickness. So all you need to do is just take take that edge down. 
take that edge down there and uh, cut it to the right size. Excuse the focus today. And you'll end up with a distortainer pick, two suits, back of the tension. So there we go. Just thought I'd show that little tip with you. Um, that's how I make my this detainer picks and I hope you enjoyed burning with me you may want to fast forward through this video which is entirely fine because it's 30 minutes nearly 40 minutes long thanks for watching and um, you have a nice day and take care bye bye now wait a minute wait a minute I almost forgot I was going to measure this wasn't I so let's uh Zero that. Try to do it with the camera um, in the way. There you go. 1.45 mils. That's the shaft. So there you go. Um, that's the size you need to be looking for. Ooh, there's the bell. Okay, thanks very much for watching and you take care. Bye bye now.